So you're looking for a new study Bible and you went on to Amazon or christianbook.com, you typed in study Bible and found 3 million results. Well, in today's video, we're gonna narrow that down and find you one that is perfect for you. In case you and I haven't met yet, I'm Keith Farron, your Bible coach. My passion is helping you move from should to want when it comes to reading, studying, applying, and enjoying God's Word. So if that sounds like something you could use some help with, you're gonna to wanna to click that little button down there so you don't miss a video. This video is another one in the series Bible Study for Beginners here on this YouTube channel. Now, in the last video, I looked at the eight different tools I think you would want to start with over the first year or two of studying the Bible. And one of the things I recommended was a good study Bible. So in this video, I want to kind of wade through because I got to admit, I'm a little bit of a study Bible junkie, right? I've got the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Study Bible. I've got the Experiencing God Study Bible. I've got the Day-by-Day -day Chronological Bible. I've got my CSB Study Bible. <laughs> I've got the ESV Study Bible. And I've got one of my Filament Bibles. And yeah, I even have a few more laying around here. I love Study Bibles. They are a fantastic resource. But you don't need this many if you are just starting out. And so today, I want to boil that down and give you three, because not every single study Bible is going to fit every single person, but I think that in these three, you're going to find one that is going to be a good fit for you. The first study Bible I would encourage you to take a look at is the one that goes along with the translation that you're already familiar with or that your pastor preaches from, that your church uses. Most churches tend to lean toward one translation. The pastor preaches from the NIV or the CSB or the ESV or the NLT. And if that was just confusing to you, then you might want to watch this video up here about my favorite translation for beginners. But if your pastor preaches from a specific translation, then you might want to get the study Bible that goes along with that. Because pretty much every major Bible publisher has created a study Bible to go along with their translation. So that can be really helpful. And if you're looking for a suggestion, probably the most common popular study Bible that is available in multiple translations is the Life Application Study Bible that's available in the NIV, in the NLT, the New Living Translation, the King James Version and the New King James Version, as well as the RVR and the NTV, which are the two most popular uh, Spanish translations. So any of those translations, you can find the Life Application Study Bible, but Every major translation has a study Bible that goes along with it. So that would be my first suggestion, the translation that you're either already familiar with or that your church uses. The second study Bible that I would recommend you take a look at is the ESV study Bible. That's what I have right here. Now this is a gift version that one of my board members gave to me several years ago. It's a very expensive version, but you can get an ESV study Bible from anywhere. I just checked yesterday, anywhere from $27 up to over $100, depending on whether you want a paperback or a hardback or a leather bound or an imitation leather. There are so many different options, but I have found that the ESV study Bible, the English Standard Version study Bible, is probably the all around most thorough, robust, and helpful study Bible that I have found. It, while I have a ton of study Bibles, this is probably my go-to one. Even though the ESV isn't my primary translation that I use, I primarily use the CSB, I love the ESV as a translation, and their study Bible is absolutely fantastic. If you were just going to buy one study Bible and you weren't tied to a specific translation, then I would highly, highly recommend you checking out the English Standard Version, the ESV Study Bible, and it is fantastic. Now, the final study Bible I think you should take a look at is a filament study Bible. Now, this may not look like a study Bible because it's so thin. That's because the filament Bible is actually a filament-enabled Bible, a Bible that goes along with the free filament study Bible app. And the way that it works is you have a reading Bible, a Bible with very few notes, very few charts and graphs and commentary and study notes and everything to distract. So when you wanna just read the Bible, you can get immersed in it. But 
With the Filament app, you just scan the QR code in the front and it knows exactly what Bible you have. And then at any point in time, if you want to go deeper in that particular passage, you open the app, you scan the page number, and it opens a, a window with three parts to it. One is study. And that allows you to dive deep. It has a section of study notes like you would normally find in a study Bible. It has a book overview. So if you're in the middle of the book of Ephesians and you want to find out what Ephesians is about, then it's got a book overview. It's got a section on, in the study section. It's got a part on the people, the people that are mentioned in that book or in that passage. And then the themes that are covered in that particular passage where you're at. So there's the study section. Then there is the reflection reflect section and that has commentaries and articles and devotionals written by different pastors and teachers and Bible scholars uh, to help you kind of go deeper into application of that particular passage. And then the third section is called C and that provides videos, kind of Bible study videos on different topics and different themes as well as infographics that really make things visually represented, as well as even some worship videos that are worship songs that have been curated to go along with the themes in the passage that you are reading. So you have these three sections, study and reflect and see. And they keep the beauty of the filament enabled uh, Bible is that it can keep growing with you because as they update the app, then you have more robust resources like I got my first filament Bible a few years ago, and since then they have added a section across the bottom for reading plans, so you can do different reading plans that you want that you want it to guide you through, as well as there is now just released in the last several months an audio Bible built right in, so you can be have your study Bible, you can have your physical Bible, you can have your notes, you can have all of that built in and have an audio Bible built in. So I don't know what they're going to come up with next, but the beauty of getting a filament enabled. Bible is that you've got one reading Bible that becomes this growing, ever getting better <laughs> study Bible. And so check out a filament enabled Bible. Now the one caveat is as of now, the filament enabled Bibles are only available in the New Living Translation, the NLT, and the KJV, the King James Version. So those are the only two translations as of the recording of this video that the filament enabled Bible is um, paired with. So, but check it out. It is absolutely fantastic. So when it comes to study Bibles, there are a ton of different options, but I would encourage you to see if your pastor, your church uses a specific translation, look at the study Bible. If you want a robust physical study Bible, my favorite is the ESV. And if you want one that can grow with you and use the power of technology to enhance a reading Bible that is very simple, then check out the filament enabled Bible. And I would love to hear your thoughts, which one you end up landing on. And if you've got another favorite that isn't one of those three, then let me know that in the comments as well. And as always, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and share this with a friend. I will see you in the next video.